Dear Donald Trump is a clever and thought-provoking Kiwi children's book that is taking the world by storm. It's set to be published in four languages so far, but well, it has been, with further deals in the pipeline as well. Award-winning author Sophie Sears joins us right now. Welcome, Sophie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Really yeah. nice to have you in the studio. Awesome work. I love this book because it took me took me five minutes to read. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely hilarious, though. So tell us a little bit about you and your background. So you're a farmer from, from Hawke's yeah. Bay. Yeah, uh, organic farmer in the Hawke's Bay large sheep and beef farm and but I did study early childhood in English and drama at you know a long time ago yeah and uh, as the children got bigger and I had more time I, I started writing books off the farm based mainly around our farm and rural sort of life mm -hmm. this one sort of came a bit out of left field but yeah it turned up on the end of a number of sort of rural based books and when you were sitting down putting this together, did the story about the boys' bedroom come first, or did you were you inspired by, I guess, a Donald Trump news story? Yeah, and he was everywhere. It was the wall, the wall, the wall. And adults were talking, and, and so many children. The children were all talking. True. Talking walls. And actually, I got really interested in what did the children actually think. And surprisingly, to start with, a lot of them thought it was a great idea. Yeah, Dear Donald Trump uh, is, is about two kids in their bedroom and one wants to build a wall because his brother's I annoying. I share him with the brother. Well, his brother's <laughs> annoying, which I think anyone who's got more than one child will absolutely understand. understand. This is my favourite little bit from it. Um, my brother said that they're both dumb ideas about building the wall. Mum said that if you were like other men, she knew you would talk about it a lot, but never build it. Dad didn't say anything. This is the letters that Sam writes to Donald Trump about the sort of wall that he wants to build in his bedroom. Yeah. So with this, mm -hmm. I mean, it's obviously been hugely successful. Did you expect it to get translated into so many languages? No. What no. is it about it that's picked up? It's so topical, of course. I mean, he's, I mean, he's so charismatic and he's everywhere, isn't he? You, you can't miss him. But the, he tells what he's talking about is such a story of every, as you say, every sibling's life. Mm. How do I protect my privacy? What's fair? Who can come in? It's just such a beautiful parallel. So I think the the real child story, which it is, because this is really a children's mm. book, but with that lovely sideline of being so topical because of this man has just made a, a magic mix mm. that people really love. And that's what I like. It's not pro-Trump or anti-Trump. Mm. It's about the politics of life in a bedroom, uh -huh. really, isn't it? Yeah. And that's something everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. And really exciting that it's going around the world. Yes. You've got some copies of the books there. What, what countries have you got it translated um, to? The English, of course. Yes. That's me. Um, Italian. Italian. And I like this. They did uh, Dear Mr President rather than using his name, which I thought was lovely. Uh, this is French Canadian. Okay. And this is French for Europe, which are slightly different. And have we got it into America yet? Because Donald no. Trump, I think, would probably love this, this book. He's probably too busy to read children's books, <laughs> oh, isn't no. he? He's got plenty of time to tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't actually know. You know what I really like about it? I think he'd it? like it. It kind of reminds me of... I um, hope so. yeah. there's, there's a Dr. Seuss book about... You, I forgot what it's called. All the Places You'll Go, which I think is for adults mm -hmm. as well. I reckon this one is too, because it's really entertaining on an adult level yeah. reading the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's witty as well, which I think always works really well. Both. I think when children can read the book and adults and they both enjoy it, it's kind of double the pleasure, isn't it? Yeah. And were your yeah. children still young enough to test this book out on them? They, they? they test all my books, even, oh, even the 19-year-old. Yeah, they yeah. all they all gave this the thumbs up. They loved it. Oh, all nice. of them. Yeah. Did you really tell mum, though, if it's not very good? I don't know. Yeah, yeah they, they would. Really do. Yeah, trust <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah no, kids would. Yes. Uh, you also wrote a book, The Gift Horse, which mm -hmm. was shortlisted oh, yeah. for the New Zealand yeah. Book Awards for uh, children and young adults in yeah. 2018, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And that dealt on the subject of grief. Mm. Um, tell me a little bit about that book. I was asked to write that by one of my booksellers. Um, I went to, to talk and see them and deliver some books, and she said there's hardly any at the moment. They sort of come and go, these books mm. that kind of look at losing things. And um, the story sort of came out of, again, the rural background and the special relationship between children and animals, how they can bridge those really difficult moments sometimes. So this young girl on the farm, she's lost her mother. We don't really know, we don't learn much about that in the mm. book. And this, the father, eventually, she's really struggling, brings this quite traumatised horse to the farm and says, maybe you could um, do some work with it, their horsey family and her mother taught her everything mm. she knew about horses. And through this very difficult relationship with the horse, who's, who's not very willing really to be helped, 
something starts to change in her and transform and and she comes to something new. That's a really important yeah. thing too, I think, to, to help children yeah. deal with grief. Um, mm, I've talked to you for a long time because you've done Good. some fascinating books. This one, I think, is a great read. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Sophie's book, Dear Donald Trump, is available now from all great bookstores. <laughs>